A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use annotation and markup tools in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So before we start the discussion, we have to we have to ensure that the, those comment, those annotation tools are there on the screen. And for that, what you can do, you can go to the comment option and just press it there. You will see another row appear and you will see the, the wide range of options here you can activate same thing by going to the tools tab and going to the comment section you can see the same thing so we will start with the highlight text and when you press it highlight text you will see this option change color has activated is activated now so here we can change the color let's say we want to change to yellow color and we want to maintain the uh, opacity level to 100 percent and then we select it and then what we can do we can select all the text or let's say i'm going to select all the text sorry i'm going to delete it first and then i'm going to select all and then when you select it all the text is highlighted here you can put a comment if you wish to and then post it here we can change the properties by keeping it selected right click go to the properties and then we will see the change in color option we can change in uh, transparency level here is uh, what key difference is that the option of color is much more than the option of color in the previous option here you had only 18 color choice here we have much more than that so if you have a kind of preference towards something other color we can go this way and we'll click ok and then we can close the tab uh, the second option what we are going to talk is the underlying text and which is here we'll select it and then you will see option color change color option then we'll select it and we can choose a color option here we can choose the transparency level and then we can go there and select everything and you will see the text is underlined if you want to change the properties either you can go there but again the choices are limited what we can do we can right click go to the properties we can choose the color we can change the opacity level here is the important thing is that we can change the style line style and this style is a little different where we can see the zigzag pattern in uh, the line which is drawn under the text if we click ok then we can see the difference it's a little different and if you want to add a comment here similar way we can add a comment here as well and then post it the third option we are going to talk is the strike through text and which is here again when we press it you will see a color option here we can choose whatever preferred choice we have we can change the transparency level and then we can select the text we can see the same color of a line which is striking through the text if we want to change the properties right click again go to the properties and then change the color type and transparency level again if you want to make a comment we can make a comment here as well and post it now we'll talk about the fourth option that is add notes to replace text in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and imagine I want to replace this text with some other uh, word what we can do we can select it and go to the add notes to replace text and when we click it there you will see it is striked off and it is asking you want to replace with what so it's basically it's giving a warning that it will be replaced by some other text it is not directly replacing that word we can post it and if you want to change the properties again right click and we can change color and opacity level same change can be done from here as well fifth option what we see is uh, insert text and cursor which is more or less similar as the previous option so what we're going to do is we are going to bring the cursor here 
and insert text at the cursor. So we'll press it there and you will see icon here and it is asking what text you want to replace the existing word. So suppose I want to replace this word, this, this plants with something called trees and then post it. If you want to change the properties again, go to the properties and then we can change its properties or we can do the same thing from here as well. Now we will talk about the drawing tools or the pencil tab which is here and when we press it once we can see the color option we can choose the different color we can choose the thickness as well so here we are going to choose a thicker line 10 points and then when we press it you can see a line is already drawn here suppose we want to draw a line like we have to select it first and we have to draw a line which is drawn like this again i'm going to draw a line like this so two lines so this is all about the line if you want to change the properties we are doing if you want to change the properties what we can do right click go to properties and then we can change the thickness of the line color and the transparency level the last option in the notation tool is the it is drawing sorry it is markup so this option talk about the drawing so it will erase only what is drawn so when we select it we cannot erase anything which is done as a notation but we can erase the drawings you can see i can erase these drawings i can erase this one quite easily the last which is uh, very common tool is uh, using the selection tool you can do the all process in just one simple step that is selection tool this is the selection tool select on the text and right click and you can do many things like uh, highlight text which we have done previously strike through let's do it we can do this strike through and then strike through text we can do add notes to replace text add note to the text so those all things also we can do it so this is quite intuitive feature uh, to do the annotation in adobe acrobatic pro vc now we will talk about the, some of the common tools like uh, keep tool selected so imagine a situation where you want to do uh, this kind of highlight again and again so what you can do you can select this highlight tool so in the normal case what you do you select it first and then you select it once again and then again you have to select it so in the situation when what you can do you can keep tool selected here and when you select it it will become a blue color line and then you don't have to select it again and again so like this just you can keep highlighting similarly you can do the same thing with the and the line and other features as well so keep tool selected is an important feature to keep doing the same task again and again without any hiccups uh, the another option is the make properties default and suppose if you want to uh, maintain this highlight color yellow continuously so what you can do you can right click here and you can make properties default you can do the same thing with uh, checking this option so suppose in the future when you do the highlighting you will see the same option suppose if you don't like it or if you want to change the default color to something else right click again properties and then change the color and then make what is default and whenever you do this text highlight option it will change now so make what is default is really good feature to do the same thing in the same way we can filter all the annotation as well so filter option is here 
and you can see that most all the all the changes are done in page number one so it is shown in page number one author if it is different author then it can segregate or in different author name date it is done today so everything is marked up here in the same date we can change check the type and you will see there are different type like highlight we have insert text so it is filtered with the annotation type uh, we can also filter with the colors different colors are uh, segregated by using the filtering technique we can also uh, delete the annotation just go there and uh, right click and you will see the option delete you can delete from here you can do the same thing by pressing the delete key from your keyboard so i've done it using the pressing the delete key uh, imagine a situation where you don't want to delete this annotation easily so what you can do you can lock this annotation so how you can lock it just select it right click and go to the properties and uh, mark it locked and you will see that when i locked it there is a there is a unique symbol of uh, sorry let me see where it is yes it is here you will see this is a locked icon so you cannot delete it with just pressing the delete key so now i'm going to show you that how you can delete it but if you look at this one you will not see even the delete option but finally if you decided to delete it what you can do you can go to the properties and then unlock it first i've just unlocked it you can see the the lock icon has removed click ok and then you can delete it you can see the delete option similarly you can delete you can do the deleting option from here itself just one by one by pressing the delete key you can delete everything so this is all about uh, annotation and markup feature in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and hope it has given you an idea about how to use annotation tools in, in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section. And if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the coming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.